This is Larry Williams, a professional trader who turned $10,000 into $1.1 million in just 12 months of trading. Which, if you do the math, that is 11,300% in 12 months. God damn. Now, if you're like me, you're thinking, how did he do it? Well, I decided to look for the answer of that specific question, scavenging the internet for the strategy he used to get those massive gains. And oh boy, did I find something. I found the exact trading strategy he used to make those gains. And I gotta say, Larry's an absolute G for making this because it works insanely well. And I'm gonna share it with you guys. Let's get straight to it. So the strategy he used to make these gains is called the LW volatility volatility breakout strategy. LW for Larry Williams. Makes sense. So this specific strategy basically forms around one specific indicator and that indicator is the Dodson Channels indicator. To add it to your chart, go to the Indicators tab and type in Dungeon Channels. Click this one right here. Now, the Dungeon Indicator by itself is pretty nice, but in order for it to work just how we want it, we gotta change the settings. Go to the settings of the indicator and change this length to 96. Then I'm also gonna go to the Styles tab and change the colors of the lines to red so they're easier to see. Also, something very important. All of these settings I'm about to tell you are for specifically the five minutes time frame as that's the time frame Larry used for this specific strategy. If you want to use a different time frame, please do your own testing with different indicator values. So this is what the dungeon indicator looks like by itself. There are going to be three lines. The middle line, which basically acts as a mean reversion point for the market, which means the price will always be naturally attracted to this line, almost kind of like a mag. You can also use it to tell the momentum of the chart. So if price is above the line, it's bullish. If price is below the line, it's bare. Next is the upper and lower band. These bands can act as both support and resistances and oftentimes price will hit these and reject. But we can also use them as breakout points. As if price breaks this upper band, oftentimes price will continue to head upwards. Which is exactly how Larry used it. That's a little foreshadowing. But there is a small problem with this strategy. Actually, it's a pretty big problem. Let me explain. You see, so normally how you use this indicator is once price breaks this upper band, you enter along, set your stop loss right below this middle line, and set your take profit to something like a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio, and you get a winning trade. But if the market is consolidating like this and moving sideways, this is when we start seeing problems with this strategy. Because when the market is consolidating, this upper and lower band are going to be very, very close together, like they are here, which means they are a lot more likely to break even from a small, tiny, incy move that doesn't have a lot of momentum behind it, which in the end would give you a false signal and you would lose out on the trade. So we need to find a way to stop this from happening. So we only enter in high quality trades that have a lot of momentum behind them. In order to do that, we need to add two more confirmations. But before that, have you tried? Hanger Trade is one of my favorite brokers of all time because of these reasons. Some of the absolute lowest fees on the market, their spreads go as low as 0.0, .0 pips, and if you're an absolute maniac, you can use up to 500x leverage with them. 500x. They also have negative balance protection in case, you know, you blow up your account. I'm talking to you, 500x leverage people. And to put the cherry on top, they have a 100% deposit bonus. So whatever you initially deposit, they will match up to 25 grand. Plus, if you click the link in my description, it not only gives you all of those benefits, but it also helps me out. So click it. Um, where was I? We need to add two more confirmation indicators to get higher probability trades. So the first confirmation indicator we're going to be adding is the LWTI or the Larry Williams Large Trade Index. Once you have it added, go to the settings of the indicator and change the period to 25. The higher this number is, the more long-term trends it'll look for. If you're looking for confirmation for shorter term trends, a smaller number is better. I found 25 works the best in a five minute time frame. Then you're gonna wanna change the smoothing period to 20. Then for the final indicator, add a simple volume indicator. 
I know, I know, pretty boring, but this will help us a ton with avoiding false signals. Go to the settings of the volume indicator and change the MA length to 30. Then go to the styles tab and enable the volume moving average and change the color to white. This volume indicator will help us identify when the market actually has momentum behind it and not just a small move. The strategy itself is pretty simple and I'm gonna teach you just how to do it. Then at the end, I'll give you a secret trick to make it perform even better. Better. First, again, make sure you're on the five minute time frame. For a long trade, you wanna do this. First, you want price to come up and touch this upper red line. Once that happens, the next step is you want the LWTI indicator to be green. If it is red, you would not enter into the trade. Then finally, you want the volume bars to be above the white line and you also want them to be green. If they aren't above the white line or not green, you would not enter into the trade. This is gonna be showing the market is not consistent consolidating and there's enough volume to enter the trade. All three of these criteria need to be met at the exact same time in order for you to enter the trade. So you would enter here. Now the stop loss kind of depends on the setup. Usually you would set your stop loss right below the middle orange line, but there are some scenarios where you would not do that. For instance, when the upper band and the orange line have a huge gap like this, where if you did set your stop loss here, the stop loss would be huge. If this is the case, you would just just set your stop loss at the recent swing low like this. But for the most part, you'll be setting it right below the middle line. Once you have your stop loss, set your take profit at a two to one risk to reward ratio. And just like that, you have a profitable trade. Let's do a short example and then I'll give you the secret trick to make the strategy even better. First, you want price to hit the lower band. Check the LWTI indicator and make sure it's red. Then finally, you want the volume again to be above the white line, but this time you want the bars to be red. Enter here, set your stop loss right above the middle orange line and set your take profit at a two to one risk to reward ratio. And just like that, you have another winning trick. Now it's time to go over the secret trick. Another small problem I found with the strategy is when it's near a major support or resistance. For example, here all of the requirements were met. Price touched the upper band, the LWTI indicator is green, and the volume is above the line and also green. So we entered our trade like normal and set our take profit and stop loss. But if you look here, it was actually a losing trade. If we take a closer look and zoom out, you can see again all of our criteria was met, but it was met right at a clear strong resistance level. So yeah, we got all of our signals, but since this was such a strong level, price bounced here. So in order to fix this, you would go on a higher time frame like the one hour. Then you would set all your major support and resistance levels. Once you have that done, do not enter trades close to those major levels. So in the trade I was talking about before, so sure our criteria was met, but since it was close to this resistance level, we would have skipped this trade. Actually, what I found works really well well is if price is currently breaking a resistance level, then all the indicator requirements were met, this would be a great time to enter, as there's a ton of confluence and bullish momentum in this trade. So yeah, if you pair this strategy with basic support and resistances, or even supply and demand, it works absolutely great. If you guys want to learn how to draw the perfect supply and demand zones for this strategy, watch this video because I basically tell you specifically on how to draw the best zones possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.